Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Chromatic Black. We have our third donation deck of the day. This is actually going to be my very first time to ever play a Chromatic Black deck list. So basically what we're doing is we're a single color deck playing all these swamps that uh, allow our Cabal Stronghold to add a bunch of mana in the late game. And so we're playing a, a bunch of big things. And uh, But since being just a single color deck of just being like a just, just black, for example, here with like the swamps, usually you don't get to play a whole lot of different cards. However, we have Chromatic Lantern here that allows our lands to add mana of any color so we can play some ridiculously sweet top end cards. As you can tell here, we got a bunch of Hydroid Crises because whenever you get to having a lot of mana for ramping up, um, fixing our, our mana, there's nothing better than Hydroid Crisis. Plus, we have a bunch of sweet sideboard cards. We have like Banefire to finish out games that we need to, Nicol Bolas and Teferi, uh, whenever we need those things. This Tezzeret's going to be pretty awesome. Haven't played a Tezzeret yet, but I really like this plus two on Tezzeret. Uh, I think it's just really strong and can just kill people very quickly. And if we need a lot of life, we got Sanguine Sacrament as well. So if we have all those cool cards in our sideboard, we're probably going to need a way to get them. And that's what our ma that's where our Mastermind's Acquisition comes into play. So even in game one, we have the ability to play anything in our main deck and or, and or sideboard with Mastermind's Acquisition. Um, but yeah, this is going to be pretty nice. So Guild Globe is a new card from War of the Spark for the deck. You know, lets you it's an artifact that lets you cycle, helps fix your mana if you need to. But the artifacts are pretty important with having Karn uh, in here. Gives us some good artifact synergy. And then, of course, we have that uh, Tezzeret that I was talking about later on over there. So, yeah, this is a pretty interesting little deck here. Um, let's go ahead and try it out and see how it works. Got all, we got all these fun ofs because of Mastermind's acquisition as well. Yeah, let's see how it goes. So, Mastermind's acquisition, how it works with outside games is really when it says you can use any card you own from outside the game really that means a card in your sideboard that's that's what it means you search your sideboard i don't know why it doesn't say you search your sideboard i don't know if there's like a a reason why um maybe it means because you can get stuff from exile also i guess right like you can yeah i'm pretty sure you can grab stuff from exile with mastermind's acquisition We got these new War of the Spark swamps. Also. They look pretty sweet. Ah. So it is for, for casual play. When you pull cards from anywhere. Thanks, Storm. You cannot get exile cards. They're still in the game. Gotcha. Never mind. Discovery? Wasn't exactly expecting that. Wouldn't mind our opponent playing some more creatures here to make our ritual sit better. Not quite Phoenix. Not really that creature. Well, good thing we have the contempt for it. Hey, Mookton. It's going good. Stitcher, Supplier, Arclight Phoenix, and Risk Factor deck. I 
This deck is just filled with velocity. All these light up the stages, discoveries. I'm going to cast this card to make it so they don't have the spectacle turned on, like, just super easily. It's not just, like, automatically on. Make them use a spell. I'll do it. Hmm. All right, so Sacrament, all these duresses, Moment of Cravings. So I'll look in the cast down. Those all look pretty nice. I'm going to get rid of Bantu, Massacre Girl... And Ugin. I think I can kind of get rid of Acquisition since the cards that we want are in our deck. I don't know if we're going to want to spend four mana to go look for something too much. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, opponent's deck is, is it, like, that looked really good. They're fun. They were doing some crazy, crazy stuff. I'm going to try this. You got Karn versus Aggro? I can do that. I don't hate cutting Karn. Oh, just one? Oh, well. Got rid of all of them. Not much magic to play in this game, doesn't look like. At least our opponent's hand is awful. They got all those lands. Should just I should have just kept the six land. One contempt hand. A moment of craving basically traded for the Wizards Lightning and the Get to Lava Runner. That was a really nice card. Nope. Yeah, I know that can come back. Fortunately, our cast down doesn't get rid of it for good. But you know, we're not going to just sit there and take a bunch of damage. Still in it. Crap. 
Creeping chill. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's gotta be in your sideboard. For mastermind and paper. Heart fire, sacrifice my creature. Mill some more. That's perfect timing. That was a good call with the heart fire too, because that turned off my duress. Yeah, opponents living it up. <laughs> They're really doing it. If we can get a chromatic lantern, we can cast the sanguine sacrament. There's a Chromatic Lantern. All right, next turn. Sanguine Sacrament. We just gotta stay alive. No, not the Creeping Chill. Come on. Uh Why the creeping chill? We were so close. I know. I'm, I thought I was the only person that played Creeping Chill. <laughs> Certainly done my fair share of killing people with Creeping Chills. This hand doesn't feel good, but I don't think I'm mulliganing it. Yeah, the new mono black zombies that I have updated now doesn't have any creeping chills in it. Well, our swamps look really cool. This deck hasn't been too impressive so far. But our swamps look cool. Hey, treasure map. Let's do that. Forgot about that card. That card's really good. Merfolk trickster. Okay. That's lucky for us.
There's got to be Frilled Mystic here. It's got to be. Hmm, scry two lands at the bottom, grab another one. Don't really want to cast my card, I can't even get a counter because it's the only good card in my hand. Oh, well, I guess we'll try. Hey, it's not Pearl Mystic, hooray! It was Trickster. So yes, how do we feel about Skargon Hellkite as a rule? Okay, Skargon Hellkite is a powerful mythic rare that is Standard, constructed, playable. Vampires and Merfolk. I don't think they got together to... Got along too well on Ixalan. Vivian. Now they got Elves. Let's tear this place Elves, merfolks. I mean, they already had elves. Elves, merfolk, and vampires. Have you ever lost a home? What deck would I bring to a tournament right now? I would bring Sultai. Some cards. I need foul convenient, an excellent choice. I don't think it's worth it to use a treasure to cast the chromatic lantern right now. What creature's next in the Elf Merfolk Vampire deck? There is wonder in a blade of grass. Give me this contempt. Return. So they're doing something at instant speed here. I don't know what, but we're gonna contempt it. Whatever it is. It's just a trickster. I mean, we're not actually contempting it. Ooh, Simic Ascendancy. All right, Boots bringing the spice. All right, we got a Simic Ascendancy donation deck. All right, when are we playing a boot? <sighs> Not dead yet. Write it down. You just tell me that what you just tell me the day and the and the time slot. Everything's always available. Just tell me the day and the time slot. 
end. And it'll be good to go. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's crisis for eight. And I'm gonna be minus I'm gonna minus two car and make a three three. Also. All right, tomorrow around 6 p.m. is probably the uh, probably about the third slot here. All right, so tomorrow third. All right, sweet. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Yeah, we could have a Niv Mizza Perun in here. Invisible Perun seems like it could fit in here. All right, perfect, Boot. This Cry of the Carnarium is looking really nice. Looking really nice. I guess they weren't going to attack. Well, still clearing that out. So I got a 3-5 left. If I were you, I'd just... What a good mindless minion. That's a heck of a turn for us. Yeah, our deck's doing stuff now. Just had to play that crisis on eight. And now we're doing stuff. Give me this Tezzeret. No, don't, no, countered my Deseret, no. Ugh. I like my Deseret. Rise and shine. I was not expecting another Frilled Mystic. Ugh. I wanted this Deseret. Can we grab cards from our graveyard? Lame. <laughs> I'm so sad. I want this Deseret. That's how I was just gonna kill our opponent. All right, Ugin does stuff. Do Zero mana. Cycle. Dragon. Cycle. I guess that one doesn't cycle, but two mana Karn. Let us begin. Awaken. More creatures. More creatures. Secrets manifest before you. Good help is easy to find in war. All right. Uh, 
<laughs> Avengers, assemble! Hmm. Teferi Timebender seems like it's good against the instant speed deck that they're playing. I mean, they I guess they just we only saw like the Merfolk that were instant speed. The Frilled Mystics and the other ones that 2-2. Two -two. Hmm. You can grab that acquisition if you want. Oh yeah, they had Vivian also. This stops Vivian's flash part. It doesn't stop the arc bow. But it does stop Vivian. <laughs> we only have a single cast down as early, early removal. It's pretty great. I'm going to take out the Bantu for another cast down. That's my plan. Yeah, nothing else competes really with Hydroid Crisis, just Baron December. Uh, this is this was not a deck that I made. Like these are, this was a donation deck that we had that was a viewer submitted list. But yeah, I, I have Hydro Crisis a lot of my decks too because it's just so good. It's a great payoff for having a lot of mana and a lot of the and or being in the late game. A lot of the decks that I play try to acquire mana and be in the late game. I thought this deck had millions of lands. <laughs> Remember last game? All right, there we go. There's all our lands. That's better. Look at all these sw sweet swamps that look the same. Standard's just all about artifacts. They're like turn two artifact. I'm like turn two artifact. Artifacts are definitely not the least common permanent and standard or anything. Definitely not. Woof. <laughs> yeah, it's an artifact with the color. It is kind of weird. So I think I just go like maybe like Blast Zone next turn, blow up the Trickster and the Arc Bow. Yeah, this this guild glove doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care that we lose that card. It doesn't do anything. All it does is just be a two drop for for Karn's minus. That's like that's like the only thing it can, it does. All of our lands like add mana of any color, so like this thing adding some mana of different colors doesn't matter with Chromatic Lantern in play. No. Bad hostage shaker. Bad. Alright, more cards.
<laughs> hey, I did I did bring in a second cast down, right? Didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I brought in a second cast down. Because, yeah, that cast down was clutch. Hmm. We have five, six, seven mana right now. So I could cast something that costs three. Like a Teferi. Hey, inversed. I think I just grab the crisis though. I was getting to it. I was I was finishing out my, my turn there. There we go. Lots of people getting the hype boats in the chat. Thanks, everybody. So, Inverse getting that gifted sub from Jelly. Thanks, Santa Jelly. That is sub number nine on the day. One more to get to our next sub goal. If you're enjoying the stream and like to help support the channel and also want 22 really nice emotes, Consider hitting that subscribe button. So one, two. So yeah, we'll just do seven. Only, there's not really a reason to do six. I don't believe. But they should get like one of their counter spells out of their hand plus draw three. Very good. And I'm thinking next sub battle for Saturday. Because this sub goal is starting towards our next one. So I'm thinking we're going to do another sub battle on Saturday. Yeah, I could see that jelly. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's a. What do I do if if chat if chat wins? A twelve-hour stream. That's a twelve-hour stream the next day if chat wins. I'm at ten mana right now. Here. I know Crylocranarium like uses my mana a whole lot better than Liliana to clean up those creatures, but I just want Liliana in play, of course. Fibblethip! Our opponent's deck is sweet. Like a fun new toy. Stream without tie and all the people are going crazy. Every I should do a, a casual stream. Time. Be mindful. So your past is unwritten. Well, I don't, I don't own a hoodie. I won't, I won't go uh, buy a hoodie. <laughs> no, I don't wear a button-up and tie to bed. And I'll just w wear like a t-shirt. Jeez. 
Choop. They were a lousy servant anyway. Choop. Ow. Too many unreliable variables. Alright, let's get those things out of there. Tezzeret time. Alright, finally get to Tezzeret. What? This should strike That's sweet. You. That's what Tezzeret's plus ability is? Alright, we need to make a Tezzeret deck. Alright, time to make a Tezzeret deck. <laughs> I'm gonna fire my laser. Alright, let's do it again. Plus two. Boom. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Ooh, it's just the beginning. I never seen a Tesseret in play before. Well, mindless minion. Yeah, I hadn't seen a Tesseret plus. The one time I had I had an opponent cast a Tesseret against me and they minus three'd it. They used the minus three and then I killed the Tesseret. Yeah, that's a sweet animation. Yeah, I could make a Tezzeret Karn deck. Oh, the, the ult doesn't matter. It's all about that plus ability. Like, Tezzeret's plus ability is Tezzeret's ultimate, really. The minus three and the minus eight are both pretty bleh. It's all about that plus two. A plus two is really strong, though. Every turn, drain for four. We have here. This was Baby Rabbit's deck. What? Freebooter. Enjoy the illusion of victory. Play Freeboot. So I hear every single time I go to like any concert, just hear people yelling Freeboot. And they look like they look like this person right here. So they're yelling free boot. All right, and that'll do it. Tezzeret will finish this off. From battle to the grave. Oh, waste not, want not. Do not get Plus two. <laughs> Don't you see? You have already lost. All right, well... Just having Tezzeret being able to do that makes this deck a lot better. That was sweet. <laughs> I just joined the stream and I see Claw zapping the opponent for lethal. <laughs> hey, thanks, Bert. Thumbs up to Claw Zappin. Alright, I'll have a Tezzeret deck real soon. No, not the burn deck. We lost to a burn deck. <laughs> uh, uh, not tonight. We'll make the won't make the Tezzeret deck tonight. I'm a little too tired for that. All 
I am planning on getting, um, you know, I don't know exactly when, you know, it'll probably be a couple weeks before they're ready, but I am planning on getting a team chat emote for y'all for the sub battle streams. Boot gave me that idea. The team chat emote. Not exactly sure how it should look. Yeah, team chat number one, emote. You're so very dead. So we have one single ritual of soot in here that we need to find just to continue playing. But even then, we will likely be dead. That's not it. Is this it? Nope. I couldn't even upkeep scry because we needed all four mana. So I can't really upkeep scry. Hey, Streak Almighty, keeping that streak going and being our 10th sub of the day. Getting to our first sub goal towards our next sub battle stream. And we'll crack open a pack after this. Be pack time. Get all these these things in. That in. Hmm. Maybe Tezzy. Gain some life with Tezzeret. Cut one Karn. What are the other five cards I cut? All right, we figured it out. Got a couple glows, the Bantu, and a Mastermind. Blast Zone. We need to start getting treasure map going. I'll go upkeep scry and likely moment of craving with the treasure map. Gross. I was hoping they were gonna. It's definitely hoping they were gonna steamkin. Yes, keep that card, please. Hmm. We're going to just try to hopefully draw a land here and sit away some creatures. Ow. It's rude. Well, they played a land from hand and not one of the two lands they had exiled. That's, I don't know, kind of good.
All right, land drop. All right, we'll get, have Blast Zone get rid of these two. And start, or like keep scrying with these treasure maps. Drum Monsters went okay. There are a few things I didn't love about the list, but it went okay. I um, got another donation to try out, to try to make another Jund Monsters list for Sunday. All right, Glaive, take care. I need a command for changing the basic land art. It is basic. That should work. Definitely wanted to hit the land drop. Make this crisis as big as possible. For now we have four, five, six, seven. And I can go grab Sanguine Sacrament. Should I go find Chromatic Lantern with this? You just crisis for eight. So that's three. So four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll just crisis for eight. Let's just do that. And there's a lantern. And a land drop. Hey, Choco. Eden's going pretty good. Yeah, we're playing a bunch of different decks today here. Yeah, Tezzeret's for the drain. Yeah, just Tezzeret. We had a lot of artifacts out there. Tezzeret for the drain could have worked. No, Nozakama's in here. All right, game three against Monored. Can we win on the draw? 
Ugh. This is Blast Zone and Arch. Not looking so good. I mean, I love Cryler Carnarium, love Duress. I kind of want to keep this hand. I definitely would not keep this on the play, but on the draw here, I kind of want to keep it. Start scrying with Treasure Map, like Contempt's good. We got this card. That card's insane. I think I keep this. All we're missing are Black Mana or Chromatic Lantern. We have good cards. I like good cards. We could have a Swamp on top. Alright, definitely leading with this Blast Zone to tell my opponent to stop playing more 1-drops. Slow, slow their roll. That's right. Don't play other Firebrands and stuff. Just slow your roll. Two shocks to deal with. I do want to be able to gain life. Thank you. Right, we're going to draw another swamp. And cast cry. Stop. No, not draw a cry. Stupid deck. That may be game. I think we need to hit that cry of the carnarium there. So that's six damage right here, or no, seven damage. Puts us down to three. It's an unfortunate place for a chromatic lantern that would be really useful. Swamp! Yeah! Oh, come on. Well, what's in their hand isn't really that important right now. I have faith some solutions must be built. We're not out of it. We're not out of it. Not quite yet. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gain 16 life with that card. Gee, that's a lot of life. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Do I just do it right now? Yeah, it is instant. Our opponent can't play these cards in hand because it's frenzy. They can't play those. I'm going to wait. It's definitely a big risk waiting, of course. But the problem with using all these treasures is then this turns into like a 2-2. Two -two. I'm going... I'm, I'm risking this.
Okay. Well, that's... That's a problem. Alright, never mind. Guess I'm not waiting. I would love to draw an artifact so that my creatures don't die to cry of the carnarium. Maybe I should have kept one of my treasures for that. Return. Yeah, maybe I should have just gained 14. It's lucky. Never punished. I don't want to keep clicking okay to everything. Put a counter on a blast zone. Yeah, Frenzy's pretty crazy. Alright, they're down to 25 cards in the library. Uh, it is, it is not any. Here, this should have it come up here. That works. Go, Massacre Girl, go. Ooh, playing the land from exile, not a land on top. All right, they're blowing up Frenzy. So I'm guessing they just have 10 points of burn. It's like after Frenzy gets you an extra 20 cards, if that those 20 cards aren't enough, you get to just blow it up and you, now you have like, you know, a full hand of another seven cards or so. I've only seen two Wizards Lightning so far.
I feel like they have another three damage burn spell. And they were consider like you know they're waiting here because they're considering trying to go for a kill. Why can't they be at four? Why do they got to be at five? I dealt one more. Play nice, they said. <laughs> Imbeciles. If I can tempt that, do I gain life? I don't think I do. It's unfortunate. I do. My friend is here to Sweet. help your pain. We're not dead yet. Can we get there? I think they're supposed to risk factor first before frenzy here. Because now the risk factor doesn't do anything. I just let them draw. Yeah, they really should. They had another risk factor in hand? Yeah, they definitely need to cast those risk factors first. Uh. It's not over yet. Stop saying good game. That's the second time now. You haven't won yet. Don't be another burn spell. No! Oh, we were so close. Uh. Uh, Blast Zone, why do you cost so much mana and why do you have two counters on it? Uh, we were so close. We tried so hard. We, we fought so hard. Our opponent thought for sure it was over twice. Twice, I tell you. They were supposed to draw those cards with the risk factor, not have them on top after the risk factor. That's what was supposed to happen. Ugh. So there we go, that's Chromatic Black. Get to do some really crazy things here with Chromatic Lantern and Mastermind's Acquisition. Going and grabbing a bunch of things. I feel like there needs to be er more early interaction than just one cast down in this deck. That that doesn't really seem right. Uh, the Bantu doesn't seem necessary at all. I wouldn't play a Bantu in this deck. I'd rather have like another cast down in the main instead of that. All these Cry of the Canariums were really good, though. Card was very good for us. Guild Globe was pretty good. I liked Guild Globe. Yeah, I'm. we got really lucky of drawing a lot of Swamps and not Cabal Strongholds, because like, there was definitely times that if we would have drawn Cabal Stronghold, we would have lost, but we, we drew Swamps, because uh, you, know, you need that black mana. I kind of don't really like just 19 swamps. I, I think this should be like 20 or 21 swamps. At least 20. I don't know. I was 
certainly worried multiple times about us drawing this extra colorless land since we got these other colorless lands. Because Stronghold doesn't, it doesn't do anything until you have five, like it, it starts adding Maddie once you have five basic swamps in, once it's like the sixth land. Um, but early, I think I, I would be more comfortable with like two Stronghold, 20 Swamp, or 20 Swamp and not one of these other ones. I, I think you I think you want twenty black sources. Um Yeah, this is mono black races. Yeah. Would you put a second masker girl in instead of Bantu? Maybe. Or maybe just Doom Whisperer. I feel like Doom Whisperer is a better card than Bantu. At five mana slot. If you want something really big. I would, I would honestly, I'd just put a fourth crisis in. Crisis is just incredible. I would rather just have another. I'd rather just have four crisis. I, I don't really know why you wouldn't play four crisis. Honestly. Yeah, or a cast down. Tesseract was really cool. Sacrament was nice. I could definitely see playing a second sacrament. Uh, Elder Spell just isn't necessary. This card, there's just not that many Planeswalkers in the format. I don't, I, I don't feel like this is necessary. I mean, I guess this is basically just for like Esper control, like basically for Teferi decks. You play this again, you bring this in against Teferi decks, and that makes sense. I guess that's fine. That's fine as a one of. That's fine. I could see having another sweeper in the sideboard though. For creature like green creature heavy decks. Like just having just one ritual of so like you know, with creature heavy decks that are go bigger than Cry of the Carnarium. We were lucky to face a, a lot of decks where Cry of the Carnarium and Moment of Craving were really good. But there are definitely green decks, you know, like Wild Growth Walker decks and uh, other like gruel decks and things where having more than just a single ritual of soot is probably necessary and that's probably more important than having the Elder Spell in your deck probably need like you know whether you want to play something like kaya's wrath because of chromatic lantern or if you want just more ritual of soot i think you need another bigger sweeper in the sideboard something like that Ugh. liliana's kind of a bigger sweeper kinda all right so there we go so yeah thanks for that deck there yeah, no problem. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed Chromatic Black, and hope you hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I will see you for another and see you for another video. Take care.